Did you see that? That's the Tooth Fairy. And we all know why she comes. This month is National Dental Health Month. And today is National Tooth Fairy Day. After the start of the show, we will visit a dentist's office to get more tips on keeping our teeth healthy and clean. And after that, we will join the Tooth Fairy to learn more about her. So let's get started. Along with eating healthy foods, brushing and flossing, visiting the dentist is also an important way of keeping your teeth healthy. Many of you probably know, or maybe even visit, Dr. Bop. Let's go talk with him now. Hi, Dr. Bop. Do you have anything to say to our Wagner Whiz Kids? Well, I sure do. Hi, Wagner Whiz Kids. We want to welcome you all to our office. And we enjoy, you know, we're glad that you came to celebrate uh, National Dental Health Month with us. And I uh, understand the National Tooth Fairy Day is coming up very shortly. And she is very special to all of us as she comes to visit a lot of us boys and girls when we lose our teeth. So I want to today have Tricia go over with you how to take care of your teeth, good things to eat, bad things not to eat, and maybe how to brush them a little bit. And then uh, we'll let you show you around the office and let you all have a good time. Well, thank you, Dr. Bop. Well, we're glad you're here. Hi, Miss Tricia. Can you tell us what you're doing with Kendall right now? Yes, I'm cleaning Kendall's teeth. Kendall's here at Dr. Bop's office for her checkup. Well, how old should you be when you go to the dentist? Usually, we like to see our patients around age three, and then twice a year from then on for a cleaning and a checkup and a fluoride treatment. What are some good dental health practices? Well, Kendall knows eating healthy, staying away from sugary snacks like Cokes and candy and cookies and Little Debbies, things that have sugar in it, they mix with the saliva and the acids that are in your mouth and they make cavities in your teeth. Do you know what a cavity is? Yes. A cavity is a hole in your tooth. When you get a cavity in your tooth, then you have to have the dentist fix it. If you don't get it fixed, then it can become very painful. Well, Kendall's all done. Miss Trisha, how was her checkup? It was very good. Kendall, you're doing a good job keeping your teeth clean and healthy. Keep up the good work. Well, we got our new toothbrushes. We're going to use them tonight. Back to you, WKPN. Now that we've visited the dentist office, let's visit the Tooth Fairy in Toothland. This is the Tooth Fairy coming all the way from Toothland. It's my job to bring all the baby teeth in. When a baby tooth falls out, it gets placed under a pillow. After I take the tooth, I replace it with a little surprise, usually money. Then I take the tooth and tuck it under my wing, and we're off to Tooth Fairy Land. I even have my own hotline. Call 646-2774, sponsored by Dr. Bob. Have you ever felt the need to speed? Feel the wind in your face, the sun in your back, and get excited when you see the checker flag? Well, we have a second grader named Logan Lance, and he races in motocross. Welcome, Logan. Hi. Well, Logan, how did you get started? Well, I got my first bike when I was two years old and 10 months. Really, what I remember the first track I ever went on was Crooms, which is mostly open with woods and it has a dust wall. Logan, I see that you need special gear. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, well, we have what we call a chest protector. There's two different kinds. There's one that like this and there's one that before you put your shirt on, you put it before. They call it a inside chest protector. And we have a helmet to protect our head from getting damaged and ran over. And then we have what we call goggles to protect our eyes from getting dirt in there and rocks. And we have a neck brace that keeps your neck safe from getting ran over or breaking your back. Well, I see you have a bike. Well, how many bikes do you have? Four. Well, that's a lot. How fast does this bike go? 50 miles per hour. What's the farthest race you've ever been to? Minnesota. Well, that means you have to miss school. How do you, 
how do you study? Well, my teacher gives me my assignments before we head up to the road. That's how I keep my grades up. Or if I don't keep my grades up, I won't be racing. Well, that's all for the track. I'm ready to go to the races. If you want to learn more about motocross racing, come to the 6 to 9 shelf in the library. Good morning, Wagner Whiz Kids. This is Alyssa coming to you from Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. I'm standing in front of the Astronaut Hall of Fame. Come on, let's go take an adventure. The Astronaut Hall of Fame is a great place to go and learn about space history and astronauts who have taken flight. Mercury Spacecraft Sigma 7. Six orbit flight on October 3rd, 1962. Astronaut Walter M. Shera, Jr. Third United States manned orbital space flight. There's lots of history in here. This week is the anniversary of Apollo 14 mission. This was NASA's third lunar landing mission. This is the actual Apollo 14 spacecraft that flew to the moon and back from January 31st to February 9th, 1971. We're out here at level 37 where an observation tower stands. It shows you the launch pad with four different levels where Atlantis took off just this last week. Hi, I'm here with former astronaut Roger Crouch. How long have you been an astronaut? Well, before I answer that question, I want to say, hey, Wagner Whiz Kids, how are you today? Actually, I uh, was an astronaut and I flew in space in 1997. I went up in April of that year and we had a major problem and had to come home early and then they made the unprecedented decision to let the entire crew go back up in July of that year. And so we flew 16 days the second time and only four days the first time. So I had 20 days within three months of each other, but all in 1997. Hey, I hope you enjoyed everything I showed you today. This is Alyssa signing off from NASA. Bye. Scott O'Dell, who wrote Island of the Blue Dolphins, was born in Los Angeles, 1898. He wrote 26 books for children and got a Newbery Medal for Island of the Blue Dolphins. Along with the Newbery Medal Award, Scott O'Dell received the Hans Christian Andersen Award. This is the highest award given to an author of children's books. In 1976, the Children's Literature Association named Island of the Blue Dolphins, one of the 10 best American children's books of the past 200 years. I really enjoy this book, and this book is six AR points. Every day, more than 22 million students ride school buses across America. Each year, about 390,000 public school buses travel about 4.2 billion miles. Though school buses are one of the safest ways for kids to travel to and from schools, it is still important to remember that accidents do happen. This week is National School Bus Safety Week. This theme for this year is Be Aware Cross with Care. This theme is to remind students to be careful when getting on and off the bus. Here are some bus safety rules for children getting on and off the bus. Make sure you are on time to your bus stop and don't play around. Always walk to and front the bus in a straight line. Don't push or shove while getting on and off the bus. Stay in your seat and don't yell or shout and distract the driver. Always obey the driver. Always cross at least 10 feet in front of the bus, never behind the bus. Never call under a school bus to pick up something you have dropped. Tell your driver and she will or he will pick it up. Remember to follow these rules and you'll be aware with cr and cross with care. Tomorrow night is our first Chick-fil-A Spirit Night. After a long, relaxing day off of school, Come here and eat dinner between 3 and 8. There are many things to choose from. Salad, wraps, and sandwiches. My favorite is chicken sandwich. Hi, I'm from Orange Wagner. My teacher's name is Mrs. Williams. I would like to order a chicken sandwich. You can eat inside. Mm, 
or if you're in a hurry, you can get it to go through the drive-thru. After your dining pleasure, you can have fun playing in the playground. You can climb, or slide, or you can hang with friends. When you and your family eat here, our school gets 20% of the profit. That means money for our school. That's our show for today, here at Chick-fil-A. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Hillary. Eat, Eat more chicken. chicken. Bye. Bye. At RBW, we have some of our own baseball and softball players. Alyssa, how many years have you been playing? I've played for two years, Hillary. And what positions have you played? I play second and shortstop. Which is your favorite? Probably second base. Brett, what team do you play for? River Cats. How many years have you played? Seven years. Were you a toddler when you started? No, I was in T-ball. What positions have you played? First and third. Which is your favorite? First. Now we're here with Dominique. Dominique, how many years have you been playing? I have been playing for five and a half years. What do you like about playing softball? My favorite part about playing softball is hitting the ball. Have you ever gotten a home run? Yes, I have. I've got three home runs. Wow, that's impressive. Well, thank you, Dominique. Our dictionary word for today is Zamboni. A Zamboni is used to smooth out the ice on the ice skating rink. Mr. Maruka, do you know how a Zamboni works? Yeah, what it does is like a big vacuum cleaner. It puts a layer of water over the top of the ice, and at the same time, it picks up and scrapes up all the loose pieces of ice and water that were left from uh, the skating before. If it wasn't for the Zamboni, we'd have some pretty rough ice to skate on. Then after it's done, we have some smooth ice to skate on. That's awesome. Did you know it was named after the man who invented it? No, that's even more awesome. Well, that's all the time I have for today's Dictionary Word. Back to you, Hillary and Alyssa. When you get home from school today, do you want to enjoy a healthy snack? Well, let me show you how to make a reindeer sandwich. First, you need a slice of bread, pretzels, peanut butter, raisins, a cherry, and a knife. But make sure you ask your parents' permission. You cut your bread diagonally. Spread some peanut butter. Add raisins for the eyes. Pretzels for the antlers. And a cherry for Rudolph's nose. Yum. This is a healthy and delicious snack. Hillary, Mr. Crow and his cousin love to read so many books about fall and Thanksgiving. We have a, quite a collection here. They love to read Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving, Mouse's First Fall, but their most favorite book is The Little Scarecrow Books. These books may be checked out at your media center. Mr. Crow's cousin got on the poster because he read so many books. Back to you.